hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is vivian if you first time coming across this channel on this channel I talk about everything else lifestyle immigration education whatever it is like this information and helps you to move forward in this uk i'm here for it so today the long awaited healthcare visa guidance has come out and this visa um root application has been launched okay so if you go onto the website now and search for health carers senior health carers and allied professions you will actually find carer jobs in the shortage occupation that is absolute good news okay so this is official it is happening it is live and we are all here for it. okay we're excited about this news i hope you are as excited as i am for this um new publication because it means all this whole noise on social media is actually true and it's happening okay no one needs to question the authenticity of this visa rule okay so i'm going to be going through the i'm going to put a link to the guidance okay on the description button below there are a few things that you need to take note about this visa which have been mentioned in this guidance things like the fee things like your eligibility confirming with your employer that you're actually eligible for the health and care visa and also additional places where you can actually look for jobs under this visa route which nobody is actually talking about all this and more i'm going to be talking about in this video and on this portion of this video i'm going to be scrolling through this document with you just for you to see what it is all about okay so this guidance was published on the 15th of february 2022 as we all anticipated which is our good news and subsequent to this guidance everything you need to know about this visa is on there so click on the link below if you have any questions if you're confused about anything and have a good read for yourself so the eligibility for this visa is that you must be working in a group of professions and in particular organizations so it's not everywhere you can work you can actually work to have a healthcare social visa all right you must be working under the skill route you must be applying for a skill route visa but you're taking a job in one of the jobs under the shortage of occupation and you must be employed by an nhs foundation trust a local health board trust in wales a health board a special health board a health and social care trust in northern ireland or its board of scotland okay agencies um patient care client council regional agencies for public health social well-being a lot of agencies are here on this list okay and you must be able to provide and support provision of regulated activities okay and then also there are lots of um, organizations you must be working for here to for you to be eligible the general medical council okay working for the dental council working for the national health service you must be engaged by the general practitioner of the federation okay working working for the chiropractic council general dental council um medical council optical council so for opticians optometrists all right general osteopathic council general pharmaceutical council health and care professions the northern military council of course um Pharmaceutical society of northern ireland um so scottish social services Northern Ireland Social Care Council um, and also Social Care Way. So everything that includes social care, adult care, social services, health care services, health board, regional health boards, numerous positions across the board, you can actually work for any of these organizations and qualify for the health and social care visa under these guidance. <clears throat> So these are the organizations you can actually work for under the health and social care visa the other thing that is important is to also know that you need to be working for patients under the shortage of patients all right and the list is actually exhausted if your occupation is not on this list as is going to be showing on this video or as i'm going to be mentioning on this video then you cannot qualify for this visa <coughs> and you must be working in health service and public health manager and a director you must be a residential day or domiciliary care manager and proprietor a biological scientist or biochemist a physical scientist a physician scientist medical practitioner psychologist pharmacist ophthalmic opticians dental practitioners medical radiographers podiatrists 
health professionals not elsewhere classified so some health professionals who are not on this list may actually qualify for a health and care visa if their employer says that they actually qualify for a health and care visa physiotherapies occupational therapies speech and language therapies therapy professions not elsewhere classified so if you are a therapist in some form of therapy with some form of um, a certificate in therapy and you give a particular form of therapy homotherapy if your employer says you qualify for a health and social visa you can actually apply under this visa route now you have nurses midwives of course um social workers lab scientists lab technicians did you see that lab technicians okay paramedics um dispensing opticians pharmaceutical technicians pharmaceutical technicians medical and dental technicians health associate professionals not elsewhere classified so nursing associates physician associates all of those are also under the health and social care visa nursing auxiliaries and assistants so blind me all you who are saying um for people who are called nurse elisa or who are trained as nurse assistants or nursing aides who are not qualified they can actually get a visa if they can actually prove their english write an english language examination and pass it and be able to get a job offer which is actually very easy to do i'm going to be showing you clues on how to get ahead of the clip the queue and be shortly set for an interview if you're interested in that video please drop a comment below like share subscribe and i'm going to drop that video after this one next also dental nurses care workers home carers here we go okay so the code is 6145 and senior care workers 6146 so this is what all this is all about care workers and home carers don't need any certification or um any university certificates just need your basic ssc certificates and a few other certificates to help you be ahead of the game and those i'm going to be showing in another video so for this health and social visa you can actually Come as a carer, a home carer, and be working for a list of organizations. Now, the most important thing about this um, publication is there are some very specific requirements for you to be aware of, which will, if you do not take them to cognizance, may mean that your visa may be refused, and you do not want that to happen. Okay. Now, employer requirement is that your employer must be a registered and licensed sponsor okay and they must be able to show that you meet the requirements for a health and care visa they must pay you appropriate salary and must be taking up that they will sponsor you and your family if needed and if they don't want to sponsor you they have to take it and you have to be aware of this so you do not go and take that your employer is going to sponsor when they would not have sponsored in the first place these are very important points for you to take note when you apply for a visa because they can actually determine if your visa is going to be approved or not so most importantly is that your employer needs to prove to the home office that you're actually eligible either through the job that they're offering you or through um, um the role that they're offering you okay eligibility is very very important and these are employer requirements this is nothing has to do with you it is up to your employer to prove to the home office that you're actually eligible for the health and social care visa next is that there are visa reductions okay visa reductions visa, visa reductions if you are going to be applying for the health and social care visa your visa application fee is drastically reduced compared to other persons on the skilled um, occupation okay now as a health care person who is applying for the health and social care visa the visa cost is reduced for yourself for your family and any other person who is coming to the uk with you in addition to this you do not pay any ihs fee ihs fee is out of the game for you okay you don't have to pay any ihs fee and another thing is that there is fast track entry fast track entry means that your visas are going to be approved in three weeks as a matter of fact there is a dedicated team for nhs support and visa processing team who are going to be in line waiting for only healthcare social visas and waiting to approve these visas so if you make your application for your visa expect to get a response within three weeks 
that is what this guidance is telling us and that is what is going to happen if you remember there was an extension for healthcare workers in the uk during the pandemic this was what happened there were dedicated people who sent email across to you once your employer says that you're qualified and they ask you to submit documents and within a few weeks or two or three weeks you get your visa this is the same thing that is happening with this health and social care visa if you are applying from outside of the uk you'll be paying 464 pounds because you're your job is under the shortage occupation however if you are ap applying from within the uk it's about 200 and if you are applying for a visa that is less than three years it is 232 pounds if outside of the uk 464 pounds and if it has been reduced from within the uk 232 pounds however if you're applying for more than three years your visa application fee is 464 pounds for instance if you're applying for um five years visa is 464 pounds so bear that in mind when you're making your visa applications so that's the update from the uk government this visa is out it's happening it's true people are getting their visas and there is a guidance updated guidance including the health carers and home carers technicians into this list so if you have any doubt before about this visa take those doubts out of your mind now and do all you need to do to get into the uk to this visa, visa route however i'm going to be doing a video to tell you the things that you can do to put yourself in front of the queue and be invited for an interview as a carer or as a senior carer in the uk if you're interested in this video do give a comment in the comment section below give thumbs up like share and i'm gonna do that video next if you did like this video and it has added any value to you do well to give it a thumbs up like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one thank you for watching bye for now.